Hello citizens of Prime the Nation of Golden Horde, welcome to the Frontiers so playing European Stylus 4 Common Sense uh, DLC. I don't have to press this, I can just click R. So, these provinces are protected. These provinces are protected, except for Lipetsk. Now the question stands, do we build a fort in Bakhmut first, or in Saratov? I think fort in Saratov is a bit more important, so we'll build it there. It's already our capital, so it already has a fort here, right? So we're already paying for it. No, we're not. Okay, but it, it's, it still has a fort, so it needs 3,000 men to siege the province. Okay, so level 1 fort, and by building a castle, we'll get fort level plus 2, which will put it up to 3. Nice. So Moscow is now much, much weaker. Really not a problem at all. Can only move capital to this province. It's not a core. Okay. I'd love to get some missionary strength. That would be really lovely. Grasslands possible number of buildings increased. Okay. By watching me hover over these buttons, you might have already figured out what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to voice it and spell it out just yet. We're going to move our capital to Moscow at some point in this campaign. Is all I'm going to have to say. It's stress speed 4. I don't think we can handle it. Yeah, we cannot handle it. But that's okay. We can still do it. Sort of. Teutonic Corps, the Livonia, it's Poland doing Poland things. Still rivaling Ottomans, which is unfortunate as hell. I think Poland at some po point will rival us. So we'll have to be ready for that. Basically conquer everything in this region so that we don't have any competition. What's Muscovy's uh, army looking like now? His force limit is still high, 18. 9,000 men with 5,000 manpower. And these are the 9,000 men right here. And he doesn't have a fort left. He had to move his capital somewhere. It's now Murom, so that's his only fort now. It's level 1 fort. Level level 1, but in all other provinces are without a fort. That's good. For me, that is good. Won't have to siege anything like Moscow anymore. Perhaps I should have kept a fort in Moscow instead of Ryazan, but right now, it makes more sense to keep the fort in Ryazan. I don't know. It's just fine like that. Maybe in the future we'll move the fort from Ryazan to Moscow. Like, demolish a fort castle here, and we'll move it to Moscow. What's the upgrade in that fort? I just want to check. Bastion, plus four fort level. Star fort, and then fortress is an level eight fort level. So it would require you to have fort level... Uh, to require you to have 24 regiments to siege that province. Wow. It's like actually a pretty big army. Conquer lands that will be make available addition to them. Oh, inspiring victory. That's a new reward for a mission. Manpower recovery speed plus 10. Yearly prestige plus 1 for 10 years if we do that. Recovering economy. Let's try into this. Let's see if we can do this one. Manpower level at least 90%. If not, we'll just fail it and that's going to be fine too. Rezain and Tula are now our core provinces. We cannot convert these just yet. I like that the development thing is now more dynamic, which is really nice. Orthodox is a bit harder to convert. And even with the missionary strength guy, we'll only be able to convert Tula. Which is not really a priority one. 
Eh. Oh well. What I'm thinking in the future will go humanist ideas. And we won't have any problems with separatism or religious unity. Or at least too many problems with with that. Okay. Rezanian separatists. These are independents for Rezanian. Mm-hmm. Okay. Improvements in production technology. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Definitely want that. Because I need to core Moscow. Once we do get that core, though, we're going to be in such a good place. Such a good position for us. Already getting more reparations paid to us. Unfortunately, it's not showing the fort maintenance in this tooltip, which has to be thick. Oh, no, it does. Okay. Never mind, I'm stupid. Kazimov is now a core. You want a royal marriage. Yes. I accept. We can start annexing Crimea in four years. Holy Christ, it's going to cost a total of 850 diplomatic power for just that? Jesus Christ! That's a lot of Diplo points that I could have used to improve production. Damn, son! Six six five. This is improved as it has any. This province could improve it more. Decreases the local ship building time. Monthly production income increases by 0 0.03. A lot of um, manpower in this one. So perhaps that's, that will be one of the provinces that we want to build up more. Ah. Was Moscow always in the Novgorod trade node? Hmm. Interesting. Ba, ba, da, da. Ba, da. Slowly but surely we're getting there. And we also have a lot of military power. Sadly for us, the pikes are getting stronger and stronger. I find it funny how the fort immediately changes to the like, Muslim-ish fort. Yeah, this one has a capital fort. That's an eastern fort. Or I don't know if it's the same for western and eastern cultures. Moria. The Fort of Moria. It's definitely much easier for rebels. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Byzantium declared war. Conquest of Crete. Byzantine conquest of Crete? Really? Vassalize Valakia's mission for Ottomans. He's not going after Byzantium yet. Byzantium has a chance to live. Our fort is going to be finished sometime soon. Where is it? Castle will be finished here in 19th of November, 1453. Okay. Gotta remember to mothball it for now. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. We get a lot of manpower. We'll recover it quickly. Quickly now. <laughs> Is there any Western nation that I can see? 
right now. I don't think... Oh, no, no, no. There's Genoa in Venice. They have forts? Yeah, the, the western fort seems to look different from the eastern one. God damn it, this stupid crown is obstructing the view. Does Venezia have a fort? No, it doesn't. Pest has a fort. I think it looks different from the western ones. I might be wrong. Well, we'll see later on when we can actually see both. Ah, castle is complete. Good. Let's mothball it. For now. There was always going to be this garrison fort for the capital, which is nice. Which is really nice. We can even build another fort in here to protect this general area. I think we should. Makes a good makes a good sense to me. Um, where is it? There they are. Get me a castle here. That's right, over here. Yeah, it's going to protect like this. In this. And we'll only have Lipitzkan protected in these two provinces. Okay. And when we annex Crimea, we'll have these two provinces already protected. Building a castle in Azov would actually be a good idea since it can connect to a lot of provinces. Hmm. Alright, but then again, I like how there's always going to be at least a province or two that is not protected by a castle. Like, you can't. You have to actually plan it out really, really well to have that kind of thing protected from all sides. It looks like Smolensk has a castle. It would be a nice thing to take that without actually having to build our, one ourselves. Maybe we could build, like, a temporary castle around these parts somewhere, if we have to. Taking... If we go to war with Lithuania, taking Smolensk is going to be our priority, definitely. Okay. How long does the truce last? Uh, 1464. Ten more years. That's a long truce. That's a really long truce. Well, at least we'll have time to replenish our manpower. That's definitely a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Sitting in his province so it doesn't actually revolt. Kazan announced Moscow is the rival, okay. No unrest in this province already, I like it. I'm gonna sit here with peace. We already gained a lot of stuff. We gained Moscow, for God's sake. What else do you want? Still need to core it. Hey, Novgorod has a claim on this. I don't think you're gonna get it, Novgorod. I'm actually. I don't think you will. Looks like the independence war for Sweden is over, and the independence Sweden couldn't get it. How's this war going? You're winning. Verden, what's this nation? I wish I could see more. Damn it! I want to see more. I want to see it all. I want it all. I want it all, I want it all, I want it now. Core! There we go, we started our core in Moscow, now we just need to hold on to it. Policy of free trade is allowing our merchants to expand our trade. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Soon we'll be able to annex Crimea. I'm thinking I should keep him around for now, though. Okay, you are done. <clears throat> I think as soon as we finish our mission for manpower recovery, uh, for manpower recovery, we'll go after No Guy and, and uh, vassalize him if he doesn't get any allies. He did. Shit, he got to see and Uzbek as his allies. Oh, Uzbek is now smaller. Maybe instead of. Maybe instead of getting, going after no guy, I should offer alliance to Sibir. Yeah, let's do that instead for now. Allied with no guy, Uzbek. Allied with no guy. Just gonna, just gonna, you know, become friend of the hordes for now. For now. For now. <laughs> 
Hmm, not sure whether I should go humanist <clears throat> or religious. Going humanist is going to be nice for the culture because is it still minus fifty percent? It's still minus fifty percent. We'll have a lot of cultures. That's what I mean. We'll have a lot of Russian culture. We'll have a lot of Mishari Astra honey. Then once we expand over here to be to, I'm gonna click the button to westernize there. Ah, uh, damn it! I won't be able to. I'll I'll be Muslim tech group. Shit. Well, <clears throat> that's too bad. Guess no free westernization for me. I'll have to westernize hard way. That kind of sucks. I was really <clears throat> anticipating that free westernization. Royal marriage with Uzbek is over. Let's marry them again. Not a big problem. But yeah, just due to having a lot of cultures, it's pretty useful. Dunno. Maybe we'll go religious. After all, we'll have a lot of land to convert. It's not that good of an idea group, though. Except for the stability cost, which is really nice. And there's old CB for the vassal feeding. But the humanist, with its years of separate separatism reduction and accepted culture threshold reduction, it's a really tough call. Really tough call. We'll need one or another. I wish I, I wish it was Byzantium. Byzantium doesn't really have a choice. You always go religious. That's how it goes. You go religious, and that's that. <laughs> it seems like Hungary conquered Wallachia. That's just... Judging by their name placement, that's a bit odd for Hungary, I think. To have that. Poland, 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 Poland. Why do you have to hate me for being allied to Ottomans? Let's say religious group. Neutral attitude. You are hostile. Aggressive expansion. Oh no. Yeah, but this guy doesn't like me. <laughs> Turkish capital, you know. So it's, it's a it's a one reason to not like me. Seems like we're gonna have to fight some rebels soon in this general area. That's okay. Gonna have some saved up manpower for that, for that purpose. For that very purpose. One point fifty-eight. Fort maintenance minus two. Do we really need to pay that? Two of which are currently mothballed. Okay, so and when we'll finish our fortress in Bakhmut, we'll all have to pay another point five ducats a month for that. <laughs> ah, revolt. Blast it. Let's attack this army first, because in here we can actually sortie. Wait, what? I thought it was a castle. Oh, foot level plus two from zero. Ah, yeah, because it's not the capital. Doesn't get a free plus one fort level from being a capital. We just destroyed them. Look at that. Lost two thousand. They lost seven. That shock mate. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked their face. Ahmad Genghizid. Would be very nice to keep the Genghizid dynasty on the throne. I'd prefer that. Two thousand command garrison. Can't reinforce much since we're suffering attrition. For some reason this province is really, really bad. It's undeveloped. Which makes sense. Yeah, I will spend military power to sortie out of this siege. Ah oh, shit. 
Why would you rival me out of the fucking blue? Damn it. Alright. Go back to Moscow and reinforce there. Diplomat died? We had an advisor hired? No, we haven't. You're just saying that it died. Hmm. Plus one diplomatic reputation instead of plus two. That's a nerf. Any other changes that I can spot right now? No, not not that I can see anything. Nothing I can see. Alright, I think it's time to put a cut which needs sets here though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.